Hey, it's Arena. I'm going to do some makeup today and Evo Beauty is a face primer and it's really good. It's thick and it's very tacky. I'm going to go ahead and do the Fenty Beauty Foundation and it's B, sorry, it's H8H01. So that is 8H01. That's the shade. And I did my hair today. Did something a little bit different. Alright. Let's do some foundation. Let me find a brush. Because I've used that one a couple times. And I need to get a new one. One moment. Was it easy? This was up on the top. That is it. Cosmetics brush. I love it. All right. Very fair. Very arena, I guess. And I got a new, uh, another ring light, but it's a lot smaller and you have to use a USB port to turn it on. So, I'm dark over here, can't really see shit over there, but we'll manage. Alright, so... I like it. You could still see some of my blemishes from this, but the finish is really pretty. I love a big brush so I don't have to deal with uh, less work. <laughs> well, how was y'all's uh, fourth? Um, it wasn't too bad as far as the fireworks. They were there, but um, Ava, my dog, that she didn't freak out at all. She just chilled, which made things a lot nicer. I didn't hear any gunshots, so that's always a good thing. All right. Then I'm going to use the Too Faced Justify My Love blush. So pretty. I love it. I'm sorry. I got a new puppy and she's got some allergies. Alright. We went to the Humane Society to pick up a dog to have a play date and everything like that. A friend for Ava basically. So, one moment. Okay, so I was, I didn't want to use the storybook girl on fire. And uh, I wanted to bring a blast from the past. Anastasia Mrizzi. Alright. I wanted to do something that's not like stark or anything like that, so a gold tone. I think that's going to be the plan for the day. So pretty. By the way, the band is Bring Me the Horizon that is in my CD player. Um, what was I talking about? I think we were talking about the dog. And so we went there and we just found this beautiful uh, brindle dog, which I think it's like a polar dog, uh, hound. I'm probably butchering this uh, breed because I don't know much about dogs. Um, 
But anyways, then I looked up the uh, list and see what all happened. And basically, somebody just left her stranded and she was tick invested and just like fleas and all that. And I knew that must have been very uncomfortable for her. But anyway, she lives with us now, so she'll be and uh, she'll be happy. Okay, I'm using the Fenty powder. Let me see. Here we go. Makes me want to gag. It's not a bad scent, it's just a beyond unbelievably strong. It's worth doing that though, because look, it looks so pretty. And I'm getting a little bit used to it, maybe. All right, making a mess, making a mess. Yeah, yeah. I'm always singing <laughs> and I can't sing for shit anymore that's what happens when you smoke too many cigarettes in your life it's disgusting all right I got powder all over my area all right AOA Miss A for the eyeshadow primer. I still need to locate my MAC primers because I don't I wanna use something a little bit different instead of this A every single time. You know that gets kind of boring. You gotta switch up your products around. Alright. Not too much blush. I probably should have put a little bit more, but it's okay. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna do the smoke show. Didn't I just use that? No, I'm going to use something else then. I love that palette though. I use it a lot. One moment, I'll be right back. I'll be right in the background. I'm trying to find a palette. I think I'm going to try something else. I think we're just going to do a neutral look today. I'm going to try this Ziza. This is so cool. The packaging is everything. So basically, it's the Alice in Wonderland, and this one is the neutral. I like how they have the tab over there on the box so you're not, like, destroying your boxes or anything like that. That doesn't make me too happy when that happens. Oh, everything's going to fall. Okay. So this is it. And then it's got glitter and stuff like that. Um, yes, ladybug. And then it comes with a brush. I think they were like around 33 at the time that I bought it. I don't know how much it cost at the moment. but And then there's a bundle. There's three. So there you go. This is going to be a very light look. All right, let me, if I remember, I didn't like the brush though. So we'll, we'll find that out real quick. I don't think they have shades on it. Unless if it's in the 
somewhere else, but I don't, I'm not sure. That's pretty. It's just like a pinkish nude, which is what I was looking for. I like it. When you have palettes like this, my opinion is when you do nudes and like that, that when sometimes people don't do their makeup at all, well, one, if they don't like to do it, then I understand that. But if you say that you don't have enough time even if it's like for, you could do like a 10 minute look, you just have to be a little bit more fast. And then once you do makeup a lot, you, it, you get, it gets faster and faster, so. Ladybug's underneath the, she's right there. I'm going to do my tarot in a little bit. Oh, and I got the Witch's Moon box, the subscription box. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna do the reveal I'm waiting, so. All right. The, the brush isn't that bad, actually. It does exactly what you need. on the lid right there. I would rate this palette, um, well I haven't really played much with the other, the other two, so I'm just going to focus on this palette. I'd probably give it between a six to a seven is my opinion on that, but that is my opinion, so <laughs> don't come for me. If you love this palette, good for you, boo-boo. All right. It's definitely there. I definitely need to, uh, get my eyebrows waxed. Might be doing that maybe tomorrow or something. Okay, let's see. Trying to figure out what I want to do. I think I'm going to use the Morphe Coconut Eyeliner. I'm going to see it up there. Oh, yeah. You could see that very easy. Pretty good. Do this on this side. Getting better at it. They tell you not to do this to stretch your eye like that, but it'll give you wrinkles. I'm gonna get wrinkles anyways. I'm 41 years old, so I'm not that bothered. Um. Then I'm going to show you one of my favorite mascaras, uh, the Double Decker Lashes. Let me see the box. I forgot. 
put it. It is Butter London. That's the box. Recommend it. So. It's a really fluffy applicator. So. About it. I already have kind of long eyelashes, so I never use fake eyelashes. Me personally, I'm not a fan of that, but it's all good. Okay. Mascara is done. Uh, I think I'm going to use a gloss and I recommend Dew Wops. Uh, this one is the Moon Venom. It's for plumping and it's pretty badass. I use it. I've gone through vials upon vials. It's usually like around $16. Um, you don't get much, but um, I like the Lip Venom, the Peach the peach colored packaging, I like that better because the moon one has glitter in it. What really big, but damn lips. It works. I love it. It didn't work for my sister though. She has really thin lips and it, nothing would help that. But, okay. I'm gonna do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get all in there. Okay, I'm going to, let me make sure I have the shade. This is the Pat McGrath uh, lip gloss, and it is called Divine Rose Lust. It is really pretty. Well, I mean, Pat McGrath is just what's up. I mean, but... I can't afford all the Pat McGrath stuff that I want. Okay, that's the look. Have a blessed day.